Hey friends, mm -mm. welcome to another video. So today I'm going to talk about everybody's favorite topic, tucking. So I'm wearing these really tight ass shorts today, just so y'all can show y'all. I don't even, I didn't tuck good in this, but you know what? It's for the purpose of this video. So yeah, we're going to talk about that. I'm going to show y'all what to do, how not to hurt yourself and so on and so forth. So first I'm just going to talk about a few ways you can tuck. I'm not like an all-knowing owl or anything. Is that like the the correct euphemism for that? Euphemism. A mild or indirect word or expression substituted for one considered to be too harsh or blunt when referring to something unpleasant or embarrassing. Girl dot 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 you is dumb as hell. I don't know. I hope it is. But yeah, I don't know everything. So I'm just going to go based off of my experience of what you can do. So the ways you can do it is you can get spanks, like tucking spanks. You can just wear really tight underwear, which is basically tucking spanks, just cheap AF. You can duct tape, which is really bad, so please don't do it. Like I said, I don't know everything. So I'm just going to go over the ways I know today and the ways I use. So the way I usually do it is I'll wear like 700 pairs of underwear. Just to give you an example, this is all the underwear I wear on like a daily basis. But I recommend not doing this <laughs> mainly because it's uncomfortable and it's just not fun and you usually get like a big bulge of underwear in your pants and it's not a good time so we're just going to talk about how I do this anyway but I'll usually start with like a really small pair of like this kinds of underwear these are so gross and so ratty because they're so old but like something like this it's got to have a big butt so your your giblets can fit back there and a nice smooth surface in the front and then I'll usually get one or two of these kinds of pairs, like the granny panties almost, so they can get higher up on you. Pull those up, do that. And then we'll go to the next step, which is this. It's kind of like, almost like a boy short, but it's got, I don't know, they feel like these all look the same, but this just has a bigger butt for you. And then we're going to go to the last step, which is just boy shorts. And you can pull these over and it'll keep everything in place. Usually the crotch is wider, so it makes sure everything is tucked in there nice and neatly. And it'll keep you nice and secure. With these, you always want to go like a size down, so it keeps everything in there. Especially that first pair, you want it to be nice and tight. Girl, you got to keep it all in there, because if you pop, ooh, mm. So the pros and cons of this, pros, it won't move. It literally won't move. I would never had my tuck move or anything. That's the only pro. <laughs> The con is that you're wearing seven pairs of underwear, and if you have to pee, you have to retuck all of this, and it's not fun. Like, ugh. So, I'm just gonna show y'all how to do this with my uh, my assistante. I haven't given this thing a name, so if you have name suggestions, feel free to put them in the comments below. This is also the NSFW portion of this video, so if you don't want to see this, feel free to click away and you know go about your business. So, hello. This is the the friend of the evening where I'm going to use to show you how to do this. So obviously I can't replicate any of this or anything, but we're going to pretend like I can do it. So this is your underwear, right? This is your jingle bits. What you do is you take your little giblets down here and you push them up. Obviously this is going to push up because, mm. so you push it up one, two, and they're just going to sit up there. If it's painful you're doing it wrong <laughs> so just take it a second you know squat a little bit if you need to push them up there girl because you got it like you got this so these are up you're gonna take your your member and you're gonna pull it all the way back I don't know if this is gonna break but I don't know how to mean just kidding so you pull this all the way back right so this is basically going to enter your anus at this point but you're just gonna pull it back like that right so we're gonna try to do this with underwear I really don't think it's gonna work but you know we can work miracles on this channel, okay? So we're just gonna put it in the underwear like that. So, oh shit. Let's just pretend like it's working. We're gonna skip all the steps and just go to this step, okay? So just pretend like I tucked it beautifully, you know, and whatever. So then, when you pull it up, you got a nice little blob at the bottom. So I'm really trying to make it like you can see it or something. Like it's gonna sit like this, kind of. Just pretend like, oh god, this is difficult. It's gonna be difficult, you know? You might not get it for a few times, but you know, work on it. But yeah, that's basically it. I hope this explained all of your questions. Bye. 
but yeah I honestly I really don't know how to explain this without like obviously just doing it so I figured I would show something that I haven't seen in a few times because every time I've seen some trans girl on YouTube try to explain it she'll like use her hands or something girl I can't see your, your giblets from there which I'm not trying to I'm not trying to spy on people's private parts nor do I need to know what's in your pants but I'm just saying it's nice to have like a visual so in conclusion up up pull all the way back pull them spanks or your underwear on and that's basically it so in terms of duct taping I can explain it to you I can't show it to you because I don't recommend doing it because I heard it's really painful and you can tear skin that way and that's kind of terrifying and I ain't about it but basically you do the same steps up up and then pull this back but then what you want to make sure is that you're shaved everywhere because you will rip your hair out girl and it's not going to be fun I can promise you that so when you pull it back you're just going to have your tape and you're going to tape it down the middle and then you tape it on the side and on the side to keep it all in place and this is all going to go back into your 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 book crack that's all, all going to go back there and then you'll just trim the excess tape in the back and then usually some people will do like an extra piece of tape down the middle just so we can make sure everything's in there and I know a lot of girls do that for when they're going to the beach just because it's like you're in a bikini and you're very exposed and you want to make sure it's all in there and that's why this is all like the underwear thing is a bad thing for like the beach and stuff just because you can't have like a giant ass bump on the beach in your bikini so yeah I really hope this explained things for you um I'm gonna go probably just take a nap or something I don't know if you have any questions please feel free to message me somewhere Instagram or whatever I'll put my Instagram in the bottom because you know self promo you yeah, message me comment or something I will gladly answer your questions I want everybody to be safe and have a good time with these tucks if you pop run to the bathroom if you have ever any questions like I said feel free to ask me I'm gonna go now bye Stop. <laughs>